So we'd go around to these cocktail parties and like hang out and listen to the local talk, you know, see what's going on, what's the score, who's in town, what's what. And we'd go to these places and hear these terrible stories, all the time terrible stories. I remember one time we were at a particular uh, function where the toilet seat would automatically lift back up and the hostess looked like a man in a dress. But who's going to say anything, you know? So I finished my martini and I left as soon as I could. Uh, I had work to do anyway. Now, see, there lies the problem between Raymond Lafferty and Raymond Lafferty. Raymond Lafferty loves to work. Raymond Lafferty not so good in public anyway. I know some of you out there are saying, he's hilarious, I love his company, and some of you are like, mm, mm, could, could do without it. Not my cup of tea. I don't really care for Mr. Lafferty's company. Mr. Lafferty is a scoundrel. Mr. Lafferty is a fucking dick. If I ever see Raymond Lafferty, I'd kill him, or you get the latter, and I'm not so much of a sycophant that I would be sycophantic onto myself, so there are those who'd say he's a good guy. I don't really give a damn what anyone thinks, really. Uh, truth be told, the only person I answer to is me, because I wake up next to me. Funny how it works that way. But I digress. The overall message I would suppose I'm getting at is uh, cocktail parties can be dangerous. Cocktail weenies speared by the cocktail knife and fish abortions on crackers, cheap wine and good bottles. Forgetting who you came with, wondering who you woke up with. And then, of course, there's always the obvious. It wasn't a fancy dress party or function or soiree. Or perhaps it was a, you know, black tie affair and you wore fancy dress. But I find that if you just dress in a white shirt with, with a bow tie and shoes and a jacket, of somewhat conservative nature, you're ready for anything. Be it the garbage man or the... Um, boardroom executive type meetings with the cocktail lunches or soirees and just stick to normal conversation. You know. So how about those Pittsburgh robots? I hear they're going to beat the dolphins. And oh my, this is absolutely awful. Did you make it? Drink what you want. Try to be quiet because your opinion will only get you in trouble. Believe you me. I found that out the hard way. Well, bon voyage or adieu. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And, uh, you know, try to listen. It's the best thing you could do. Talking only gets you in trouble. <laughs>